See what the question says. The sphere of diameter 6 cm is dropped into a right circular cylindrical vessel partly filled with water. Right? So what happens basically here? There is a cylindrical vessel. Right? There is a cylindrical vessel. And the diameter of this vessel is how much? The diameter of the cylindrical vessel is 12. Right? So this is 12. If the diameter is 12, we can say that the radius is 6. Right? R is equal to 6 cm. Now this vessel is partly filled with water. Up to this level, let's say it is filled with water. But there is still some space left out in the vessel. Are you able to follow? This is the cylindrical vessel. There is some space left out. Now we are dropping a cylindrical sphere here, right? Sorry, we are dropping a sphere of diameter 6 cm. So there is a sphere of diameter 6 cm, right? Diameter 6 implies radius is 3. Now this sphere is dropped in that beaker or in that cylinder there. Now what happens? It is obvious that when the sphere is, you know, drop here, it is it, it just submerged, right? What does it say? Uh, the sphere is just completely submerged. So sphere goes down. It's, it's not floating there. It is submerged into the water. Now it is obvious that when the sphere submerges in the water, the water level will rise. Now the water level will rise here because there is still some space left. Otherwise, if it is completely full, if the sphere is completely full, what happens? Then the water will flow out. Right? There will be flow outside. Whatever it is, what happens? We need to find out the rise in the level of water. Because the sphere goes down, the water level will rise. How much will the water level rise by is the question there. So let us assume the water level comes in. So when the sphere goes down, let's say sphere is here now, same sphere, 3 cm is the radius there, water level has gone up. Right? So what, how much is the rise in the water level? So when compared to the previous uh, level here, how much is the rise? We need to understand this. H. How much will the water level rise by? Now you need to draw all these diagrams in the exam there, just for the sake of explanation. So what happens? See, it is simple. The level by which the water rises, or the rise in the level of water, is due to the volume of the sphere. Right? You know that in all these cases, sorry, you know that we just need to balance the volume here. Right? That is, the volume of sphere, the volume of sphere should be balanced with the should be balanced with the volume of the water here, right? Volume of the water or the level by which it is rising. So what do we do? Volume of the sphere. What is the volume of the sphere? 4 by 3 pi r cube, right? So volume of the sphere will be equal to 4 by 3 into pi r cube. What is r? See, the diameter is 6. So the radius will be 3. 4 by 3 pi r cube. Right? 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay. Now, uh, this is being dropped into a cylindrical vessel, right? The diameter of the cylindrical vessel is also known to us. How much is that? 12 centimeters, right? If the diameter is 12, what is the radius? 6. Now, what is the volume of a cylinder? See, understand, it is, forget about the vessel there. The water which is contained by this vessel is also in the shape of a cylinder. Isn't it? Water takes the shape of the uh, container, right? So the water is also in the shape of uh, the cylinder. So basically, we are trying to balance this with the volume of the water. Right? Volume of the water. Huh? Volume of the water is nothing but volume of the cylinder. How much is volume of the cylinder? You know that volume of the cylinder is pi r squared. So pi into r squared. How much is r squared? Diameter is 12. So it is will be 6. 6 square into h. That h is nothing but the rise in the level of water. As simple as that. Just balance these two and get the answer. Because volume remains constant. Right? The volume will not change. The volume of water, the volume of water plus, uh, sorry, the volume of water that we have here, plus the volume of the sphere should be equal to the overall volume there. Get the point. So just balance that. So we can say uh, 4 by 3 pi in pi into 3 cube equals to pi into 6 square into h. Simplify. Pi gets cancelled on both the sides. Now 3 cube is now 3 cube is 27. 27 by 3 is 9. 4 into 9 36. 36 by 6 square 36. So how much will h be? 1. And since all the units are in centimeters, this also will be centimeters. Just option B. So ideally when you actually solve this question in the exam, all you need to do is this step. You don't have to draw all this, balance the volume and all that, right? Just write this equation, one side the volume of the sphere, the other side volume of the cylinder and try to get the answer, alright? Basically you can say, you know, this overall height minus, let's say the original height is h, the new height is h dash, so h dash minus h, that is the rise in the volume, right? But we are directly taking it as h, right? The difference is h here, okay? Anyways, the answer is option B, 1 centimeter, right? So just remember, very important, whenever you deal with questions on solid shapes, all, in all these cases, the volume will always remain constant, okay?